Peggy 18. Across the centuries, assassins and Templars wage a hidden war. One side fights for freedom, the other for control. The fate of humanity hangs in the balance, and that balance is shifting. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Diaries. Assassin's Creed is about a grand battle between Templars and Assassins that are hidden behind the scenes of history. The Assassins are a force dedicated to maintaining and uh, protecting our free will. And that sets them in direct opposition to the Templars, who are all about control. It's a very, very interesting universe where we have many levels of depth and uh, many angles to explore. It's a totally immersive game where you get to relive amazing experience in a strong historical context. With Assassin's Creed, the fans are very important to us and we know how many people are out there waiting for the next installment and are excited to see what's going to happen. So it's important on the story side that we deliver new twists, new turns, and that we like continue the narrative the way we had begun. Assassin's Creed 1, as most of people know, was set in the Third Crusades during the 12th century. Assassin's Creed uh, 2 was set in the Renaissance. This time around, we, we are going to focus especially on the city of Rome itself and on the life of Ezio, the second part of his life where he decides to build a new order, which we call the Assassin's Brotherhood. So Ezio is initially just a, a young guy who finds himself forced into this world that he never knew existed. He's then exposed to this war between Templars and Assassins and then struggles and fights to find his place in things. And it just so happens to be sort of at the side of, of the Assassins. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is a little bit like a, a new season of a great TV show. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood starts off at exactly the moment that Assassin's Creed 2 ended. So, uh, you know, when we made Assassin's Creed 2, we understood that Ezio's story was more epic than anything we could tell with one game. And this time around, what we wanted to give the players is the fantasy of being leader of an assassin order. And it made sense for us to put the player in that position and have that extra responsibility of not only um, teaching them, but also recruiting them and molding the next generation of assassins. The player will be able to recruit new assassins, train them, and eventually send them on, on different types of missions. You will see many familiar faces in Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Lots of characters that you knew before in Assassin's Creed 2 will return, but not necessarily the way you expect. Now Ezio is much older, he's wiser, and he's about to become a leader of the Assassin Order. And he'll need to prove that he truly can lead. But things aren't going to go as planned. Next on the Brotherhood Diaries. We're introducing a fresh and unique and multiplayer experience, so that's the first time we are doing that for the Assassin's Creed franchise. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, the player is going to get to actually create the Renaissance in Rome. 